If you're a Coronation Street fan, you'll know the pro programme is tackling the tough subject of cancer in pregnancy at the moment. Sinead Osborne, played by Katie McLean, dies this week, just months after being diagnosed with cervical cancer. Now, in a moment, we're going to talk to Katie and Pete Woolroth from the charity Mummy Star, who help Coronation Street writers with the storyline. Take a look at what's been happening. Don't spend your life mourning me. Stop. I want you to be able to move on with someone else. Don't forget about me. Well, that's an oxymoron. <laughs> I am so pleased I came up with one before I pegged it. <laughs> oxymoron. <laughs> so, joining us now is Katie, the actress, of course, and uh, Pete Walroth, who's been acting as an advisor from Army Star. Very good morning to morning. you. Good morning. Good morning. Um, Pete, it's lovely to see you here because this story is, in some ways, your story, isn't it? Do, do you want to just explain to people what, what happened in your family? Yeah, um, my wife, Maya, was uh, midway through our second pregnancy in 2012, and she was diagnosed with breast cancer um, after feeling a, a, a lump in her left breast. Um, very quickly diagnosed, had chemotherapy, had you know delivered our little baby boy safe and well, but sadly she died ten weeks later after the cancer spread really aggressively. Just ten weeks? Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, your reflections now, I mean, uh, how do you think back on that time? Because it, it, as, as people are seeing played out in the drama, so difficult for everyone involved it's real life for you know for, for some families it, it, you know it, it is a, a real reflection of, of um, you know the, the devastation that cancer diagnosis can bring and I think what's been really key is when it when a cancer diagnosis does happen in pregnancy it adds a totally you know different level of turmoil to that family whether it's you know how to look after the baby how to be a new mom and you know look after a baby and focus on you know that enjoyment of parenting again or for the first time whether but to equally, have treatment yeah and it's, it's balanced against and, and you know that's in, in this storyline they, they've been given that most devastating decision to make is does she proceed with the pregnancy or and or does she not and have you know the most effective treatment for that particular cancer that she has and that's the reality for many of the families that we support Casey, um, you've been on, in the, on the cast of, of Coronation Street six and a half years. Yeah. And so when you knew this storyline was coming up, mm -hmm. and obviously you were consulting, I think you've been on it for 18 months mm. uh, consulting yeah. on the storyline. There's a decision there. Charlie's used the word, it's a drama. It's, yeah. it's entertainment, mm -hmm. Coronation Street, and although with a very important mm. message and, and issue, as many um, dramas are attacking, uh, touching upon now. How easy was it as a decision, a decision to make to say, she needs to die. Well, I think after, especially after speaking to Pete, you know, hearing his story and the women that he helps, I heard quite a lot of their stories. I just felt like we have a privilege um, having a platform like Coronation Street being in people's living rooms to portray real life. And I wanted to portray real life. You know, people are dying from cancer. Life isn't a fairy tale, it is happening. And I wanted to make an impact and raise more awareness. I think if we hadn't have gone all the way through, I don't think it would have made as big of an impact as what it has. What, what evidence have you seen? I mean, have people getting, been getting in touch with the programme and... and... Yeah, um, me personally, I've had loads of messages on social media, people coming up to me in the street. I've had a lot of women message me saying they've put off the smears for ages, now they've finally gone, they found precancerous cells. Um, I've had messages off nurses saying that the uptake on cervical cancer screenings has shot up since it's all been playing out, which is just very overwhelming and amazing and I'm touched and I'm so relieved that we've done this storyline because I think it is making a difference. It's interesting, isn't it, because you've almost done yourself out of a job with this. Yeah, like... And, but it, is, but it yeah. also has affected you 
personally as well because yeah. it does you may go to job and do your day job and and play this character and throw a load of emotion into it but when you realize you're affecting real lives yeah that's when it becomes real yeah to definitely you. i think throughout it all you know you i don't think it's and not actors have a very strange job because I don't think as humans you're meant to cry for that period of time, you know, because you've got so many scenes to do. Um, but whenever I got home and I, if I felt a bit low, I'd just think of the people that are really going through it and that's why we're doing it. You know, I want to raise awareness about cancer and pregnancy. Me and Rob have become patrons of the charity Mummy Star. Um, I and I wanted to raise awareness, you know, that young people who were affected by cancer. You know, there's so many really um, issues that this particular story highlights. That's why I'm very glad that we've done it. Yeah.